First edition begins this morning, continuing to follow the trial of Brandon Portillo. The trial resumes at the Nueces County Courthouse today, and Portillo is the man accused of causing the accident that killed Senior Corpus Christi Police Officer Al McCollum in the line of duty January 31st of 2020. Our Jalissa joins us live in the studio with a recap before the trial picks back up later this morning. Jalissa, good morning. Good morning, Barbie. 27 year old Portillo faces one charge of intoxication manslaughter of a peace officer and two counts intoxication assault of a peace officer. Last Wednesday was jury selection following opening statements where graphic video was shown from that night. To get you caught up, here's what was discussed that day. April 13th, 2022, an emotional day for several families and the Corpus Christi Police Department as opening statements for a long awaited trial began. Some things cannot be fixed. They can only be carried. The evidence is going to show you that that is the unfortunate reality of this case. It was January 31st, 2020, when senior officer Alan McCollum and his partner were responding to a call for racing along SPID when they pulled over a car near Castoris. During the stop, a truck smashed into the police unit, killing officer McCollum and injuring two other officers came across three lanes of travel to crash into those three units. Every second of that night on video, revealing in detail what happened to each person involved, even the moments before the accident. When you have 18 alcoholic drinks and that's what the evidence is going to show you, you'll see every one of them. You'll see how it was staggering. You'll see how he couldn't walk. The defense pointing out just how emotional the images and video would be. There is not going to be any dry eyes in this room by any person who is watching these videos. Asking the jury to not focus on those emotions and to find Portillo guilty of DWI. I know it's going to be difficult. The emotion and outside pressure is going to affect what you want to do. But the facts are going to tell you what the law says is right to do. And that's what I'm going to be asking during this trial. Meanwhile, the district attorney's office asking for guilty on all three charges he faces. Not based on what I'm going to tell you, but based on what you're going to hear and see with your own eyes. Again, the trial resumes over at the Nueces County Courthouse at 9 a.m. And as always, for more information on this trial, you can head over to our website, ktriplitv.com. Barbie, thank you so much, Jalissa, for keeping us informed.